I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> Then. That looks good. If Augustus' offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it, so have them keep their hands to themselves. That looks great, Felix. It's the best I can do in the time given. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I'll back you up if needed. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. I'm not really a fan of guns. I don't like them either. Guns can be a crutch. But you should take it anyway. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I <laughs> got it. That's the place. You get it all out, I guess. <laughs> A hollow point where art and culture flourish. Enough of the stabbing. Piss off. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Oh. 
Ouch. Great. Felix didn't mention anything about a bouncer. Sorry. No one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIP's only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for Wait, me... Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me just because I ain't the strongest of readers. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. That's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. Huh, <laughs> can't believe that worked. I can't either. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends, you're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. But he just kept asking questions. Yes, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home, all right. Thanks again. August, this is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. <laughs> it's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted. That's me, Lydia Strauss. Sorry about the delay. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No! No! Please, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. You are. <laughs> the little bastard had a Molly Wone shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. 
on bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Skip out on his tab? Yeah, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. I've been doing it a couple of years. Must be tough. Being away from friends, friends like Sasha. It can be tough, but it's rewarding work. If all this goes as planned, you'll see just how rewarding it can be. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. Which one was it exactly? I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, hon. All right. Let's have a look. Of course. Sorry, I haven't touched anything this expensive before. Well, I'm sold. I'll call Vasquez and get this going. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. But I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous, small-time Pandoran fuck, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. I'm trying to do you a solid here. Don't go making things harder, cause I'll walk. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So, that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. Hey, August, you, you got a little something on your face. <sighs> Come here, let me get that for you. I can't believe you let him touch the key. No touch. That's what you said. Yeah, I blew it. Not to worry. At least you didn't crack under pressure. 
The look on your face when he smeared it on his cheek. I was freaking out. So is I. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? I figured you want to take the tour, maybe get here a little early. Early? Are you kidding me? You think I like being here? You think this is fun? Have you seen the bathroom yet? Every minute in this horror factory is like an hour. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August. But I figure you know that already. Is, uh... Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's a fake. They're still talking, but there's no way they're not going to scan it. Unless they're complete morons. Felix, we need to disable it. Yes, okay, yes. Good thinking. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Here. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Dirty enough. Okay, I found the vent. Excellent. If you run into trouble, I'll be here. I'm almost in the vent. Good. When you get to the end of the air duct, let me know. The EMP range is weak, so you and Sasha will have to work together to pull this off. Got it. Apologies, but we're actually closed. Also, this really isn't a door, but... Uh... You scared the crap out of me. I get that a lot. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Uh, I'm Fiona. Oh, delighted. Sometimes you want to talk to someone not decomposing. <laughs> know what I mean? Sure. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? Almost there. So where are we going? Shh, go away. <gasps> You're looking for that girl, right? With the hair. I know the best spot to peek without getting caught. Let me come with you. It's been a long time since I had any friends. <laughs> Back in Oasis, I... 
I had a lot of friends. Fine. Just stay quiet and make yourself easy. You, you won't regret this. Shut up. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? They... He pretended to be Vasquez, August. As a joke! <laughs> They've... I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, I'm here. What's wrong with his Good. face? Sasha is waiting near the he end of the vet. Get the like EMP that. onto the case. He's hiding something, August. Listen, whatever you think Feel about... All right, it's ready. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Good luck, Fiona. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. Well, Sasha, if you wait, see him trying to scan the, the key, key give us a that. signal. I mean, Fiona, when you hear the signal, know. activate the EMP. Really Got it. Nah, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department! Do something! August. What? Come on, man! Please! Dude, ten million dollars. You make a good point. Hey, Fiona, he's about to scan it. Fiona, he's about to scan it. Fiona, activate it. Fiona, what are you waiting for? Fiona, what are you doing? It's a fake. What? Get the money and let's go home, Vaughn. What's that sound? Now, Bossa Nova, you know what I'm searching for. Tell me where it is. I got no idea what you're talking about, Vault Hunter! Race, the money! Get the money! Ooh, looks like our lucky day, boys! Let's rest. come with you? No, they were definitely not invited. What the hell is going on? Okay, this is bad, but we can salvage it. Oh. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, on my way. Push 
I'll get that bandaged. Okay, now, easy. Easy! Sasha, I'm fine. Thanks, but I'm fine. Let's just not have any more surprises today. Oh, come on! Are you really trying to steal our caravan? Now, 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 hold on. It's, it's not what it looks. Okay, it is, but I am... Really sorry, okay? Oh, give us one good reason. We shouldn't shoot you and drag your bodies out that... There's one reason. Hey! We're not done here! The owner, the door, out of my way. I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha. You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha. Just drive! Where? Uh, away from here! <laughs> I think we lost them. So, what do we do with them? Yeah, Fiona, what did you do with them, huh? I mean, other than try to con us out of our money. You weren't even supposed to be there. Well, that didn't stop you, did it? At least the money was real. Right, all right, I get it. You didn't trust each other. As it turned out, we had good reason not to. I'll give Sasha this much. From the start, she knew not to trust them. Well, I just thought she was being paranoid. Enough. What happened next? Yeah, yeah. Tell the nice man what you did to us next. You know, in our time of need. Tell him what you did then. We tried to throw him out. We should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. Stop it with the embellishments. What really happened? No, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Yeah, I was trying to kill him. Oh, okay. Continue. Ah! Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. We can find the money! What? The case has a tracker. I can follow it. Let him back in, Sasha. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. Just let me call some of my people and, uh... Oh, call the vet! Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after us? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Reese, what the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. People are looking for you now. The deal fell apart. We really need your help, Yvette. I'll do what I can. But it's not going to be easy. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only going to get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already had security asking me everything I know. You two are going to need me to get back to Helios once you clean up this mess. You do know how to clean up this mess, right? Come on! I just need access to the Hyperion network. It's like I said, Reese. You're cut off. So my login ID is being monitored. Look, I'm doing my best up here to keep any extra heat off you, but you have to find somebody else. There's only so much I can do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. They'll trace the signal. All right, and hey, be careful up there, Ben. I will. Please try not to get yourselves killed. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. Out you go. Hang on, hang on! Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? I think we're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ah, I still have Nakayama's ID drive. Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? No, with this, I'm going to be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> You might want to hang on to something. Wait until you get a load of this. I'm very disappointed in you. Did you think you could follow in my footsteps? You are not 
nothing more than another pitiful little code monkey. All swagger, no substance. Uh, oh. <sighs> I guess Vaughn got the tracker working. <clears throat> Vaughn? Where'd everybody go? Nice to meet you, Miss Moxie. Not too shabby in that crazy Pandora kind of way. Who knows what kind of skeletons that old man's keeping in here. What happened? We were still waiting to get a load of that. You know, when you said get a load of this, we assumed you were talking about the drool that pulled around your face when you were unconscious. I tracked the money while you were... out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? You totally whacked your head right after you plugged in. It made this gross sound. Like a thud. But... wet. See? I told you I'd find the money. I don't remember you telling me that. And I was the one who had to figure out that Rust Bucket's navigation systems. You know, some of that stuff is even older than Atlas Tech. So, the case is in there. Somewhere. Wow. What is that place? Looks like some kind of abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. Looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet has shown up. 
How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, that's Atlas Tech. You should be able to scan it. that Vault Hunter. Oh, perfect. As soon as a Vault Hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it, it's as good as gone. You know how they are. Worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the Vault Hunter did? We're not Vault Hunters, Sasha. Settle down. I got this. Okay. Something wrong? No, it's fine. Ooh, that hatch goes down underneath the building. But it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. We've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway. I'll be waiting for your signal. And feel Sasha. Be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? Oh, <laughs> that's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. While we casually take our new pal for a stroll. Then we borrow a gun from one of the guards, making sure that the buddy doesn't feel left out. Then we take the secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase, where we take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. And we're good to go. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. My way would have worked. I got this, okay? Just give me a second. Fiona! Fiona! Open up, please! It's pitch black in here. Would you chill out? You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off! Hyperions! <sighs> I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. We should never have let you come with us. Keep moving. You're not running the show. If you got a better idea, then... Fine. What would you like to do? We should keep moving. Walk in front of me. Vaughn, do you copy? Come in, Vaughn. Damn it. 
He's on the move, but it's close. We have to hurry. to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left, you get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. They probably didn't teach you this kind of stuff in finishing school. Uh, yeah. No problem. Sounded pretty confident. Look, I took out a dozen bandits earlier. Today. Wow. So you're saying one won't be an issue? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Good. Good. Come on. Then do it. Just a little end around here. Get this to line up with... Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this? Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? It doesn't matter what you do up there. You contributed. It's crazy up there, too. Things actually aren't so great at Hyperion right now. Yeah? Feeling the weight of your corporate overlords, are ya? Good. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right. Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away, day after day, for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? 
I'm just curious. Look, it's not that easy, okay? Everyone's more than happy to climb the corporate ladder, even if it means using your face for a rung. Ugh, sounds awful. Yeah, it mostly is. I, uh, I have to concentrate. Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? Because I'm not saying please. Even though I've technically said it twice now. Do you promise to give it back? Yes. Pinky promise? Yes. Don't hurt yourself. work for the worst corporation in the universe. They do make some cool stuff. I feel like that's the case with most corporations. Thanks. Oh, look at us. We're like best friends now. Mm. Not quite. And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. I really appreciate that. Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. What the hell? Damn it, not now. it worth to you? Will you shut your mouth? Yes, of course, we will let you know. Hey, get away from that! An odd pair. We got Glasses Face and Hadley. You guys really know how to accessorize. What are you two doing here? Oh, hey! Um... It's <laughs> a funny story, actually. So we're, uh, we're here for... What was the question? We're right where we belong. Oh, okay. So you're drivers. What do you think? Uh, you don't really look like drivers. Oh, really? How would you know? It's kind of my thing. I prep the cars, so I see a lot of drivers. Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your face. No, I get that a lot. Not one bit. You just always look like you stepped in something. That's just my resting face. Just get my damn car. Or, or vehicle or whatever, okay? Do your job. Whoa. All right. That's... A way to go about it? 
There's no need to be rude. Sorry to inconvenience you. Yeah, you should be. I will hit you. Please don't. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. It's just a misunderstanding. We love to race. It's been our dream for, like, ever. Definitely. It's our favorite. Well, then I guess you're in the right place. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Yeah. That's what they sound like. Vroom, vroom. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. If you're racing, you should look the part. I'm not gonna give them away for free, but uh, you want to look like a team. Pick these up after the last race. The floor was littered with them. Clean most of the blood off. I suppose there's a chance I'll be collecting these again later. Ah, you've got good taste. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. The ride is waiting. Space station right now, tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that bandits. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos, motor chariot thingies, sponsors. Some sort of race. Thing, obviously. Yeah, death race. Eh, looks more like a main race to me. Race will begin! Uh, what an ass. Race will begin in 30 minutes! 30 minutes until race time! Are you kidding me with this? Relax. Guns, guns, more guns! Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We need to find Sasha. And Brees. I hope they're gonna be okay. But I hope that about us even more. I'm sure they're fine, but we need to get to them. I just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yeah, that's what's upsetting me. And going to today's earlier happenings, the grand prize for tonight's race is a one-of-a-kind Hyperion Mystery Box! No one's been able to open it, but you know you want it. So, I guess we win the race and they just give us the money. You make it sound simple. It is simple-ish. 